So I'm just now leaving President Biden's first State of the Union address. I've got to say, to me, it left a lot to be desired. While President Biden acknowledged the inflationary crisis and the current attack on Ukraine by Russia, to me, he failed to provide any real solutions or, or recognize that serious policy reversals have got to be made if we're going to overcome these crises. Instead, President Biden focused on his infrastructure package and touted his clean energy investments. All good stuff, right? But Americans right now are struggling to pay to heat their homes, to, to fill their tanks, or to put food on their tables. No mention of anything of those, those issues. And bragging about investments in new and tested technologies, to me, is just out of touch. Americans across the country, including 85% of central Washingtonians who participated in my flash poll, believe the State of the Union is worse off under Pre President Biden's leadership. And thanks to his rhetoric, he has only divided our country further. While none of this is good news, I think there is a silver lining here. Republicans in Congress are poised to take back the majority. And we do have real solutions for every one of these problems. And we, when we do take back the majority, we're ready to deliver them to the American people. That's what I'm looking forward to, and I hope you are too. Thank you very much.